You switch on power and nothing happens. Or you hear a pop and then nothing. The power indicator LED is dead. You've likely blown the fuse, but where do you go from here? In this video, I'll explain some simple steps to quickly troubleshoot a short circuit in the LX200 Classic Telescope. First, disconnect all of the front panel connections, including power, and unscrew the four front panel mounting screws so we can remove the panel. Disconnect the rear ribbon connector as well. Then let's make sure the fuse actually is blown with a continuity test. A blown fuse should show an overlimit message or very high resistance on your DVM. We do have a blown fuse here, which usually means a short circuit somewhere. If you don't find a blown fuse and have a newer power supply with built-in short circuit protection, it will be limiting itself before the fuse blows. But even without a blown fuse, we can still find the short. Let's go over strategy for a minute before we begin. Here's a simple schematic of the power distribution in the LX200. There are five places power gets distributed to. The front panel itself, the hand controller, the main CPU, and the two motor assemblies. We'll use the process of elimination to find out where the short circuit is. So we'll need a few new fuses unless we have a protected power supply. In either case, we'll use the front panel LED to let us know when we have a short by not lighting up, as we connect each part in turn. Without a protected power supply, you'll need to replace the fuse each time the LED fails to light up, but at that point we should have found our short. We start by disconnecting everything except the front panel itself, which has its own circuit board. With a new fuse if needed, plug in the power supply connector, turning on the power just to our isolated front panel. If the LED lights up, we know that the short is not on the front panel. If it doesn't, the front panel PCB is where we'll find the short. With power off, we'll attach the hand controller. Then power up and see if the front panel LED lights up. If it doesn't, the short is inside the hand controller. Next, we'll unplug the hand controller and plug in the deck motor cable. Always have power switched off whenever you plug or unplug cables, otherwise you risk damaging the electronics. Again, switch power back on and check the LED. If we got this far and haven't found the short yet, we have another small step to take, which is to disconnect the RA drive from the CPU board. These are the last two locations to check, and they're connected to each other, so we need to separate them. Remove the 6-pin connector from the RA drive assembly's PC board. It's tight in here, but you should be able to get the connector from the front. With that done, reconnect the ribbon connector, making sure it's aligned correctly with the pins on the front panel PCB. Now we've isolated just the CPU board, and we run our test again. And to check the last place, the RA encoder PCB, we reattach its connector and run our test again. And with that, we've checked everything. By this step, you should have found your short. You've at least narrowed it down to one of the five PCBs and can work from there. Pay special attention to the bypass capacitors on the main power input to each board. Typically, one of them is the culprit. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks!